They prepare something. Can we have lights on, please? Uh, let's do it. All right. Oh, thank you, guys. You're so wonderful. Can we get more light? Can we get full light? Oh, I think I can get it. Can we do something together? Can we say we are in it to end it all at once? And I'm going to put it on my Snapchat. Okay. Ready? Three, two. We are in it to end it. Thank you. Beautiful people. All righty. So where do we start? For all of those who helped me with End of Movement uh, this year, thank you so much for drawing an X on your hand and you shared it with your friends. Um, it's such an important cause. For those of you who don't know what we're talking about, uh, End of Movement is uh, a fight against modern day slavery. We have more slaves in the world today than ever before in human history. The estimates are somewhere between 27 and I think 32 million now, which is more than the population of Belgium, I believe. Correct? So imagine if everybody in Belgium was a slave. That's basically what's going on. Um, it's, it's crazy, in 161 different countries all around the world, and I think human trafficking makes up about $150 billion in the industry, which is just sickening. But anyway, okay, here we go, questions. First, I wanted to thank you for being here after all the bad stuff, bad stuff that happened in Brussels. And my question is not about the show, but I wanted to know how Trevi is enjoying Brussels. Sorry, what was the question? How Trevi, your uh, fictional character, yeah, is yeah. enjoying Brussels. Who actually knows who Trevi is? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, how's it going? G'day guys, Trevi here. Um, I, I do this character on my Snapchat uh, called Trevi, and he's very bogan Australian. He uh, punches sharks in the head, and he loves Chrissy Hemsworth. I, you know, the funny thing is, I just started doing that in, in Atlanta because I was by myself all the time in my hotel room. I was going a little bit crazy, so I just needed to distract myself, so Trevi got created. But no, he, he loves it. He loves... He, 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 um, Trevi had a kebab the other night. He bloody loved it. It was bloody unreal. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Gorgeous. There you go. Hi. Um, well, my favorite thing about the show is uh, the relationship between Cole and Fina, and I really love your friendship with uh, Daniel as well. So I was just wondering what your favorite thing is about like working with Daniel. Oh, I had so much fun working with Daniel Campbell. You know, she's only little, isn't she? Like every time I did scenes, I felt like I was doing this. <laughs> you know, you just see the top of my head. Um, I had a blast working with her. She's She's really, really fun. We had really good chemistry. Um, uh, I uh, obviously think uh, Louis hates me because I have to kiss her. Uh, for those of you who don't know, she's dating a guy from One Direction. I'm sure he doesn't like me at all. Um, I'll never get to go to the concerts. Um, but yeah, but it was really fun working with her. And you know, she was a blast. She's a really, really great actress. Really good at crying. You know, so we would have scenes where we're both just crying looking at each other, it was good. Um, so yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss working with them. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Aline. Uh, do you speak French? Uh, for le français, uh, petit. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a very short conversation, you know, I'll be like, bonjour, bonjour. Uh, comment ça va? Tu uh, va bien? Uh, Qu'est-ce que vous faites? Uh, Rien. And then I say, uh, au revoir, s'il vous plaît. That's all I've got. Not very good. Uh, can I have a, a, a hug with you? A uh, hug? Yes, you can. <laughs> if you can run really fast. Very slow, but okay. <laughs> Continues to be slow. There you go. Is everybody going to ask for hugs now? What is this? You didn't ask for a hug. <laughs> no worries. Uh, are you recording it? How was it? How was the hug? Are you recording this? How's it going? Trevi here. 
What are we doing? It's a video. We're just going to stand here awkwardly. How did you rate the hug? You loved it. Okay. Put that on the internet. Nate's a good hugger. I'm the best. Hugging. Can you really get hugging wrong? You can, people can mess up kissing pretty bad. But hugging, if you get hugging wrong, you're really struggling. What's a bad hug? I need, a, I need an audience member for this. Let's, let's get someone. Who wants to get a hug from me? Nobody? Do you want to know a single person wants a hug? Okay, here we go. Okay. Alright. So, I'm going to give you the microphone and you're going to talk through what the hug feels like, okay? Too much fun with that but then when i came back i was quite happy obviously and it was funny because when i came back he'd been playing the character i guess for a little while right season two and people would come up to me like wardrobe and they said uh are you gonna wear that jacket i'm like yes they're like okay well daniel sharman put his collar up i can't put my collar up on this but anyway daniel sharman would put his collar up and i'm like right it's like so you should put your collar up i was like I was first. Collar goes down. So it was interesting. I did, like they started asking me to do Daniel Sharman things. You know, he goes to my gym in LA. Daniel Sharman. We go to the same gym sometimes, and I'm very, very competitive. So if I'm seeing him working out, I'll work out five times harder, <laughs> and I'll just be like on a chin up bar, going 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I can go all day, Daniel. You know, but maybe that's just me. Um, anyway, so the, the, the short answer to your question is was, yes, I was upset. But now I'm happy because I'm, I'm back. Yeah, me too. Are you happy that I'm back, though? <laughs> good, good. Somebody record that and send it to Daniel Charlotte. <laughs> you know what I'm saying here next week in Barcelona? Well, that's going to be awkward. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Hi. Hello. <laughs> How old were you when you got your first camera? My first camera? Oh, I actually was in Atlanta uh, just after I booked uh, Vampire Diaries for the first time. You know, I, I never really had money as a kid, so I could never really buy a camera. Uh, but when I got the job, I finally got paid a little bit of money. So the, the first purchase that I made after getting uh, Vampire Diaries was buying a camera. You know, and it wasn't a very good camera, but I loved it and I took some great photos on it. So I just recently upgraded my camera to a, a slightly better camera. 
So, yeah, I was really happy about that. I do enjoy taking photos. Um, I think it's not possible, but uh, can I get a selfie? Yeah, okay, I, I mean, it, guess what? It is possible, because I, I do what I want. Come up. <laughs> there you go. All right. What? This is a bit awkward. You guys are going to see how I take the selfie. Okay. It's just part of life, you know, but then, you know, there's days where you wake up and you're like, hey, I'm really proud of myself. I did something good today. So if I ever made you feel like I don't like you, maybe it was me just going, I hate you, Nate. I hate you, Nate. And you might have heard my own voices. But can I give you a hug to make sure that we're yeah. cool, that we're good? Come on, let's, let's hug it out. Aww. I don't hate anybody except for Daniel Sharma. I'm joking! I'm joking! That was a good hug too. Good, good warm hug. Thank you, you're welcome. Okay, now we got that cleared up. Hi Nate. Yes. Um, I would like to know your favorite uh, life quote. Ooh, favorite life quote. That, that I wrote? Your, your favorite one. Uh, I you wrote read, it. You read somewhere. Or... I wrote it. <laughs> well, I, I, who's seen my quote? I, I write a couple of quotes. I like quotes. Um, one of the quotes I really, really like, which I actually shared with a group of people just in my meet and greet, is um, <clears throat> to, 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 to judge one's heart, first ignore his or her fame, fortune, and beauty. Oh, okay. Which I think is really, like really important. Important. Hagen, I <laughs> so often in our world today, all we care about is, you know, talent, fame, fortune, and beauty. And those are the things that we judge people on. And those are the things where we say, well, is this person cool or is this person not cool? And it's always based on how much money they have, how good looking they are, uh, if they're talented at something, you know? Um, and I think it's really, really a dangerous way to be because we ignore the most important thing about what makes us special, which is in here the heart, right? And it's it's difficult because we definitely live in a society that's like uh, validation based. You know, you go on your Instagram and it's like, how many likes do I have? How many followers do I have? And the people that generally have the most followers are the most attractive and the ones that post the most pictures of themselves. Guilty. <laughs> but I do like to take sunset photos as well. But to, to move away from that 
if we could live in a world where we really just judge people by the actions of their heart, the people that we really, really would like and respond to would be very, very different than to the people we respond to today, which I find very interesting. So I like that quote because it reminds me, hey, forget about this, the way I look, and forget about necessarily what I do for a living as an actor. What does my heart do for people? And what do people see if they took everything away and just judged me by the actions of my heart? What sort of person would I be? Would I still be liked by people? Or would people go, you're not very nice, and you're always miserable, and you don't really do anything for anybody, you know? So that's probably the quote that I like the most. Okay. Does that help? Yes. Cool. And um, I would like to know if I could get a hug too. Please. Uh, yeah, right. Last one, because then everyone's going to ask, and then, you know, I think one year I hugged everybody. And it took forever. <laughs> All right, here you go. Next question. Hi. Next hug. You're funny. Uh, what's your favorite episode of the original and why? Hmm. I really liked episode in season two where we had a flashback where we're doing the Shakespeare scene. Do you remember that? Yeah. And Carl was just really, really nasty with young Marcellus. Yeah. I enjoyed playing that uh, that episode because I was just really, really like nasty and I was killing people and I was cheeky and I was just doing whatever I wanted. Um, and then my probably I haven't seen the most recent episode, but I know it's a really, really big one, which is episode 21, where. I can't say anything. No spoiler alerts. I killed a Klaus. And, you know, it was a really hard scene to shoot because obviously he was like the main character. Most people were really shocked that Joseph's not going to be on the show anymore. But when I killed him, it was really, really rewarding. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm sure you know that. So, yeah, I would say that. Then. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. No hug. All right. I wasn't gonna ask for a hug. Good. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say thank you for being here. And um, thank you for this moment and the meet and greet, you know what I'm talking about. Thank you so much. That just, wow. And then um, you were going on and on about how important acting is for you and how much you love your job. So how did you get into it? Yeah, so um, I used to play basketball at a really high level as a kid, and I was really, really quite good at it. I just wasn't really that tall. And uh, one year I had a really, really bad accident. Um, so basically what had happened is I stole the ball from halfway and I was going up for like a dunk, and this kid came from behind me when I was 15, and he knocked my legs out from underneath me and I went head first into the wood, and I hit my head right here. And if you see, on the TV, I can't, but I actually have a bump here. I don't know if you can see it, but now you can, and now you're always gonna see it for the rest of your life, because that's what I see every single day I look in the mirror. Um, but this is actually caused by when I hit the wood uh, and I got knocked out, and it was so bad, this is what I get told. So when I hit the wood, that was the first point of contact, and it went green and like this, straight away. And like, when it happened, three people threw up, it was really, really bad. I woke up in hospital, and um, I, I still thought I was on the basketball court. And I was like, that's a foul, that's a foul, two shots. And the doctor was like, okay, you've been in hospital for two days. Everything is fine, but you've got a really, really bad concussion in your head, and you're gonna possibly have some slight brain damage. Makes sense now, doesn't it? <laughs> it's all making sense. Why is that Daniel so stupid? Ah, ding. So, basically what happened is I couldn't play basketball anymore for a while because it was too dangerous with the injury. So I had to find something else that I enjoyed and I started acting. And um, I was doing it just in, in school, in high school. And I remember being on stage for the first time and I made a few people laugh uh, at this little skit that I did. And that feeling of making people believe in the story that I was telling was intoxicating. And I, I guess I just got the bug ever since, and I just wanted to tell stories and engage with people, and either make people feel something, whether it was laughing or crying or, you know, 
made them feel something about themselves. And I think that's what I relate to so much with acting, the storytelling element. So I started doing that in high school and then, you know, and one thing led to another and I auditioned for um, a drama school and I got in and, you know, I, I think I just kept, kept going and it kind of led me to Brussels. But now I'm here. Thank you so much. No, no worries. Thank you, darling. Hi. What have you learned from being on TV? Wow. That's a, that's a, uh, with life or with myself or with... Yes, with yourself. I would say the biggest lesson... Yeah.